What up, kids? It's me, the Click and Ma Mangolina, uh, here with the female facts of the week. Ugh! Did you know that the real reason men and women don't swim in the same contest is because the time of the month? Women can, like, flex up and use their time of the month as a rocket engine underwater. And that's why it's unfair. Check in next week for more female news with Mangolina. God, my content, man, Jesus Christ. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the Click. I do hope you enjoy your stay, because my God, I enjoy your stay so very much. Today, we're going to do something beautiful. We're going to r slash bad women's anatomy, which is fascinating because everyone knows that women aren't real. Why does the subreddit exist? Am I right, fe fe fellow alphas? Heck yeah. Enjoy, <laughs> if you can. <laughs> God, I sold that video. Heck yeah. Here's the thing with girls 22 years or under. They smell massively different to a girl of 28. Girls 16 to, say, 23 have this creamy, buttery, slightly sweet smell that is unbelievably magnetic. <laughs> I smell things with my butt. But also, there are, there are multiple things here. One, body odor is incredibly dependent on many things, including, like, your personal lifestyle, diet, how much you wash, literally what perfumes you wear, etc. Not to mention, like, the underlying part of this tweet that I was gonna savor. Why are you going around sniffing people? And why are you going around sniffing underage girls? It's creepy, sir. This reads exactly like the parody voice I made for you. Stop. Why do people do paternity tests, but not maternity tests? Is this proof of sexism against men? Huh? It's pretty obvious to give birth to a child. On the other hand, the father can be questionable. This is biology, not bias. Because you're probably gonna notice when you give birth, Lamau. <laughs> But what if it's a really tiny baby, and it just kind of slips out? It could be anybody's at that point. I, I think someone told me at some point that they sometimes do test the mother with the baby, but uh, but it's more like to, to avoid mix-ups at the hospital. Not sure how accurate or common it is, but but that was one case when, when it can happen. Anyway, so moving on to more posts so we can learn together, shall we? Cycle tracking. Upcoming period. Your period may start any day in the next three weeks. This has got to be the worst app known to mankind. You can just close your eyes and throw a dart at a calendar. And <laughs> it's gonna be about the same accuracy. Why do you even bother? You might have your period this month, ladies. Oh my god. If you don't eat today, you might be hungry. You hear that, Mongo? Our new dietary app is amazing. I just overheard this guy at the bar tell a girl she had a nice butt. And she said, thanks, I keep pooping it. Lol, she's my new hero. Yeah, you see that, fellas? If a girl has a fat ass, <laughs> that, that means she doesn't go to the bathroom enough and it just swells up because it's full of the poo. Just check in next week for more uh, female facts with a click. A uh, disclaimer, this is a joke. Please don't take my video down for, like, misinformation or whatever. Thank you. <laughs> this whole video is a joke. Jesus. My R-word got shot. He might die. <laughs> I love this for you. You love someone getting shot? Since when does the R-word cause physical pain? Oh, you sweet... No, it's not very sweet. Oh, you horrible summer child. Oh, M M Mongolina, please calm down. The thing that makes me sane after, after I read this is the fact that I believe this is aliens, okay? This is my conspiracy. Hear me out here, fam. These are not people because a person could never think like this, right? It's impossible. So what this actually is, is aliens probing human society and our social norms to see like when they cross the line so they can better infiltrate us in the future. That's a much more comforting thought than the fact that people like this are real. Moving on to the next post. Has anyone else have their birth control pills denied being filed from Walgreens due to a moral objection? I am beyond shocked. We transferred it to a different pharmacy. That is absolutely bonkers. Jesus, welcome to the Ooga Booga Stone Age. Oh my god. Scientists unveil the theft-proof handbag. Apparently 99.9% .9 of men couldn't correctly locate the zipper. Look at this, and the zipper is right up there. It's completely impossible to find. <laughs> this is a very funny post. I'm not gonna explain any more of it. It's very funny, trust me. Approximately 12 hours after delivering our second baby, my now ex-husband pointed out my belly stretch mark and literally yelled at me, How could you let this happen? Stretch marks don't go away and now I have to look at the disgusting body of yours for the rest of my life. 
Yep, folks, I had literally given birth to baby number two the night prior. I should have anticipated this attitude when I was eight months prego in the middle of summer and didn't want to go outdoors festivals with him. He told me I was fat, old and attractive and boring. He also told me, why can't you suck the belly in? <laughs> why are you so fat? <laughs> While I was pregnant with his child. Guess he doesn't understand how pregnancy works. <laughs> Should I laugh or cry at this? How about a bit of both? What do you mean? <laughs> Just suck the baby in? Maybe instead of storing so much poop in your fat butt, you could just store a baby in one of your uh, one of your buttocks for the r remaining of the festival. What about that, Whammons? Explain that, huh? You can't. <laughs> Got him. My boyfriend, M20, thinks I'm gaslighting him because nothing comes out of my boobas when I'm in the mood for intimacy. Oh, gee. Honestly, my life is a mess. My boyfriend is a bit of a loner, but it's never really been a problem before. We both love video games, and to him I'm quite a catch because it's not often you find a pretty girl who likes games. Now, that statement can be taken a lot of different ways, but it looks like a compliment to me, so yeah. Most of his life experiences come from the internet, which is fine, I guess, but he really doesn't have that balance. Since we started dating, I've been dragging him around with me and taking him to try new things. We've had a couple of obstacles, period of time where he spent literally no attention to me and just play video games. That ended in March, thank God. And convincing him that smelling nice isn't just a capitalist scheme. Lol. So I, 19F, was ready to lose my virginity to this guy. I really love him and overall he's an amazing guy. He was also a virginity, so we were comfortable to just mess around. The next day he's all standoffish and pissed at me. I ask why, and he asks me why I just pretended to be into it last night. I say, no, I was in the mood, you saw that, I love you, etc. And this. God, I'm so pissed about this. He says, you're lying. If you were actually into this, milk would have come out of your boobas. I just can't express how gosh darn infuriating, awful, angry, I don't know, just that. Seriously. Like, he'd never really been in reality or whatever, but dude, for frick's sake, I am in a stunned silence. And he's like, This is true if you have nothing to say. I thought you weren't like other women, but you're all the same. I thought you loved me, blah, freaking blah. Oh my god, he spends way too much on, like, uh, incel forums, doesn't he? And, I don't know, it's like I have the man I love, and then I have this bumbling idiot who I also have to deal with, and it's just shitty. Evidently, he's only experienced the naughties from the adult films. Never thought of it out of the ordinary because he's never talked to girls and only has brothers. Additionally, people he used to roleplay with would do it. <laughs> so he took it as a fact? Oh my, no. No, fa this is what happens when you watch too much anime combined with like incel forums. So please, sir, please go outside for everyone's sake and for your own sake too. This is not a good road to go down in life. It breeds like weird bitterness that is just directed at random places where the things you're bitter about aren't actually real. I don't know, it's easy to be sucked into those kind of hate trends on the internet, um, and the best way to overcome it is honestly just to step outside. Literally touching grass is actually a helpful thing, because it helps you put a lot of things into perspective. Dad's naughty talk! Ah, oh, dear God, what do we- ah. Oh. The Lord put the hairs between a girl's legs for a reason. It's a cushion to absorb friction. I'm sorry, out of all the things, that's okay. He put a nice shock absorber right on your bumper. Now, some girls let that beard grow so long that it's almost impossible to find an opening. I like to see it nice and neat, uh, not but trimmed with a pair of scissors. Leave enough so it's still a good shock absorber. What are you planning to do when you need a shock absorber? What are you talking about? It's like, oh yeah, a little bit of foreplay. Everyone's love being punted like it's freaking football match. <laughs> What, what is it that you're planning to do? Especially if you do a lot of you-know-what. They're, they're naughties. Oh, yeah, here, here is someone who really fricks. It's, oh, yes, indeed. When we do it, we do it so well that I have to attach a pillow to, to, to myself to absorb the, the shocks. Well, I, I need a pillow for my brain because I am shocked by this post. <laughs> hey. But they're not the same product. Men and women are biologically different. If a woman were to, for example, use a razor marketed towards men, she would skin herself alive because women's skin works different than men's skin. Men shampoo turns women into stone. Men sunscreen catapults women into the sun. I tried a women's body wash once and I died immediately. I hate it when I die repeatedly because body wash. I think some products 
are, are slightly different. I, I do remember reading into razors at some point. Correct me if I'm wrong. This was like years ago, but the razors are slightly different in certain cases because it's it's a different like thickness to, to the average hairiness, so to say, and therefore razors can be somewhat different. So sure, there can be slight differences, but also she's not going to skin herself. <laughs> like, just like, oh, she is so delicate that if you just touch it with a man razor, pfft, oh no. Well, good thing arms grow back. Love to drink it. No. Why? Is there mi Oh no, here's another person who thinks that uh, thinks that doing things with each other produces the milk. I'm not gonna read all this out loud, cause cause just no, but <laughs> dear god. Lol, I thought these were pregnancy tests at first, but then I saw the hair on the person's legs. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, can you imagine the vamans doing the leg hair? It's not it's secretly a man. I knew the comments was gonna be a bunch of neckbeards talking about the size of these girls' bodies as opposed to the trashy way they were acting. And someone commenting on her uh, boobas being saggy. Trashy comment sections more like it. Then take better care of your boobas. <laughs> if you had balls down to your knees, I bet your butt and someone would comment on it. Also take better care of your entire health as a whole. What does taking good care of your boobas involve? Keeping this guy's hands off of them, for starters. Having a good nightly booba routine. About the same as taking good care of your balls. Well, it's not it's not the same argument, but have you tried a bit of boob lifts? It's like when you do you do this, you know, with your arm for the muscles, but, but you flex the boobas. You know, that's how you do it. And then they will point upwards instead. Trust me, I am a YouTuber. I read somewhere that females are developing faster due to the hormones and whatever else is in cow's milk. However, I don't know where I read it, so I don't know if it's true. This is in reference to, to that whole Ohio incident when a 10-year-old was denied doing doing the removal of the bobby. And uh, <clears throat> this, is, uh, this is the new conspiracy, apparently. Um, cow milk. Women are ruthless. This is why they were not given the same physical strength as males. <laughs> God saw they were violent little poos and they said no, no, no. <laughs> Nature has a way to find natural equilibrium to ensure the greatest chance of survival. <laughs> if it was not the case, females would have brutally massacred all males long ago, ending up our own existence as a species. <laughs> Sauce? I pulled it out of my ass. What are you talking about? I mean, okay, if this was remotely true, right? You know, for example, as with the T Rexes, the female was bigger, so it shooed off the male when the bobbies were coming along, right? But if this was the case, as with other animals, say for example the T-Rex, where the woman was stronger so it could chase off the male after the babies were coming along and that kind of stuff. So if this was true, from an evolutionary perspective, I know they didn't claim in their post that women were stronger than men previously, but if they follow the line of evolutionary logic, which seems to be their argument, women would have been stronger than men at some point in some kind of, you know, uh, um, parts of humanity and they would not have made it and then it would have slowly developed to women's being slightly smaller on average, right? But but that doesn't add up. There are no bones that prove this. So women were just magically smaller because, I don't know, because they're violent. Then I would say women need to stop releasing their eggs if they don't want a pregnancy. <laughs> Works both ways, am I right, bros? Yeah, this is what I imagine it sounds up top, bro. <laughs> Nailed it! Oh my god, you want equality, but you're not just keeping your eggs there, just flex a bit. Oh, if you worked out your abs more, you would just like be able to like pinch the egg shut with your abs. You hear that, ma man Mangolina? Indeed, that's how it works. Uh, can confirm I have a real woman in the studio today. Somehow the fashion industry doesn't get that everyone needs pockets. I think they do that just to sell purses. No, <laughs> they don't do it because it's harder to get a good fit for female biomalology. Because of the thicker hips, it's hard to place pockets. Uh, no, ever seen scrubs? I have scrub pants that have five or so pockets, including a functional pocket inside another pocket. Pretty sure regular pants can have two functional pockets. Okay, okay, I was about to say chat, but comment section. What do you think is the greatest conspiracy? to why female clothing has such insufficient uh, pocketing experiences. Let me down in the comments. I want to hear the wildest conspiracies you can come up with. Please. 7. A former Ohio state representative sponsored a bill in 2019 that banned most private insurance coverage of abortion. But not to worry. In the case of ectopic pregnancy, where the egg implants in the fallopian tube rather than in the uterus, making the pregnancy not viable and dangerous, even fatal for the mother, his bill included provisions for a procedure to move the egg into the uterus. However, that procedure does not exist. <laughs> Don't you love it when politicians like, but but we we can just yeah, I'm just gonna legislate this procedure. 
That doesn't exist! Gee, I mean, how do we solve immortality? I know, we just make death illegal. Nailed it. Men, even today, would rather marry a virgin than not. But a virgin woman today is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. What do you mean, who are you talking for, anyway? Real men go past the cervix! Yeah! Men, if you don't touch the inside of her ear when you do it, you're... You're not not a real man or something like that. Doing the self not is badly, so it feels like a guy doing it for the full immersion. It's almost like that thing, you know, sit on your hand first so like it falls asleep, so it feels like you're not alone. My ex and I once got into an argument because he insisted that everyone gets their period at the end of the month, and I told him that's not true. This is why I can't talk about feminism with you, he said. <laughs> I am the same species as this male individual. That makes me incredibly sad. People who think that female private parts are deformed by intimacy are the biological equivalent of flat earthers. At least they haven't claimed it's flat yet and you can fall off the edge. Let's see when that comes along. Not to be a misogynist doctor from the 1800s, but I'm pretty sure my uterus is moving around my body, biting my other organs and also possessed by the devil. That sounds, that sounds about it. Yeah, yep. Look at this. In the first picture, your hair is there and, and then it's over here. How did you move where her hair was growing from? Oh, my brain brain is wrapping itself around this you know you know you can you like you, you can like comb it in different ways like that for example and like bada bing bada boom my hair is amazing nailed it i can't find the source but i know there have been cases where a man has the naughties with a woman and then goes and has naughties with another woman before showering and some of the first woman's eggs are still on the private parts they can implant into the second woman who can carry the first woman's child it is the same idea as medical egg donors source Poo poo. You know, when you say I can't find a source, but I know there have been cases, maybe it isn't real. You know, it's like that person who said that I'm an anti-vaxxer trying to write a master thesis about anti-vax, but not a single peer-reviewed study supports my case. Does someone know of sources that support the case? That's not that's not how it works. If there are no sources supporting the case, it's probably not the case. Look at this dress, maternity dress with printed polka dots. Oh my god, the child is also photoshopped. How convenient, goes really fast and... Pfft. There you go, Bubby. Wedding night survival, virgin restoration kit. Born again virgin, fake blood, tightening cream. Oh, this is so sad. Oh no. You know the saddest part is that this thing even, that there's like a need for it in the world. That it exists in the first place. There's an actual demand for it. That is so sad. <sighs> Man, this world is so broken. Oh my God. I can't wait for when we all just go to hellfire and vibe. It's gonna be so good. When you've been a vegan for 10 years and your fallopian tubes aren't clogged with dairy and animal fat, so there's no menopause, you hear that, Mungulina? Heck yeah, gonna throw you to the side now, baby, cause you are full of dairy. Eat your own mango today, fully vegan, cause it's a fruit. Maybe I should do that, like a merch, that's like, I don't know, smoothies, mango smoothies. <laughs> I wanna go all the way into the fallow pan tube. Huh? You don't know about the gallo pan tube. <laughs> it's sexy, your innocence. <laughs> Just do her in the galloping tube. Bitches love the gallopa tube. <laughs> oh, yes. I have layeth many the whamans in the gallopanian tube. It's very pleasurable. Me in middle school, when I was told supposed to check your boobas for lumps, but no one told me about mammary glands, and I thought I had hundreds of little lumps and I was going to die at any second. That is. Oh, no! Oh my god! Maybe that's the kind of thing they should have left in the education, no? I mean, I, I, have, I haven't actually been part of it, because nobody ever told me to squeeze my boobs, but like, but like, god damn it. <laughs> I know IEDs can be risky, yeah? I am sure people make this mistake a lot, but I am sorry, I'm going a little insane because you absolutely mean IUD. Did I? An IED is an improvised explosive device. An IUD is an intuitin device. I nailed that word. Oh! They're not putting car bombs in people's cervixes. Well, wouldn't get prego then, would you? Hear that, ladies? Don't want to get prego, just be dead. Life hacks 2022, baby. I finally got a breast reduction after years of trying. I am two weeks post-op and I never felt better. They removed about five pounds and I went from a triple D to a C. My shoulder pain is gone and my back pain has almost disappeared. Did you even consider working out or did you went straight for surgery? Mm, you got breast reduction surgery to save your back? Why wouldn't you try running on the boob mill? <laughs> Some reps on the boob press? Try a couple boob ups? <laughs> Why not? Not boob yoga. Mm-hmm. Just, just think them smaller. Oh, surgery. Uh, 
So boob lifts is when you tape weights to the boobas and you fling them up and down. I can make like an educational course for this. Ah, uh, good morning. So I'm just getting back on the dating game, but it seems pretty wild out there. So I have a question. Is it true if you pour hydrogen peroxide over a woman's private parts, it will show bubbles and reveal her diseases? How do I ask a woman who I'm just met to do it? Safety first, right? Thank you. Show her it's perfectly safe by pouring some on your own private parts first. And also on your head, just to be sure. Gargle it to check for mono. Actually, hydrogen peroxide is a good mouth rinse. It kills most gems and widens teeth. Be careful not to overdo it, though, because too much can eat away at the lining in your mouth and enamel. Source mom is a hygienist. Also, my friend's dentist gave him special instruction to use it as a mouth rinse. Okay, so it's like hyper strong. But also, probably not good for other... That's, that sounds very burny. And also, what do you mean, like, it would show up? Do you mean it just pops like a neon sign, like, ding, 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 you got herpes? Or do you mean the bubbles are gonna bubble differently? Is that, is that the case? I don't, I don't, this is very weird. Booba milk and the male splooshies are the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's dig into the scientifically together. If a woman runs out of the milk, it's because her husband has inferior male splooshies. He needs to grow some balls and do her in naughty ways or feed the baby himself <laughs> straight from the source. Dear God, I can't for these people. Are you <laughs> Please, Darth Duck, murder them with the force. God, I'm sweating. Oh, wifey, you're a bit exhausted about producing the milk for the babies. L let me let me just feed it straight from the source. Neamas problemas, babies. Someone, please tell me this is satire. He replied me this. I'm not same way you drinking that milk from under a cow. It's like having a bowl do the sploshes into your mouth. I don't think it's satire. Did you just think that everything that has the same color is the same thing? Is that where this line of logic comes from? I guess so. Transphobic people never cease to amaze me. So you were born with boobas and something's not adding up? So nobody is born with boobas. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Are you dense? Tell me you have never... My door blew open. That was creepy. There are ghosts in here. Speaking of ghosts, check out my second channel, where I play video games, and there's a Phasmophobia episode going up soon. Clicky. It's very fun. I'm having a blast with that channel. I would love to have you over there and checking out the VODs or streams or the edits. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mwah. I'm gonna close the door before a ghost strangles my butt. So to be a real woman, you have to be born with triple D Bahankama dorks. And to be a real man, you must be born with a beard. If neither of those things are true, I guess... I... I guess <laughs> gender doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, baboon gala Herkenburg. Stop being a bitch and taking pain meds for your period cramps. Learn to deal with the pain. Strengthen your body and get in touch with your womb. Do womb massages. Meditate with your womb and mind. The cramps will lessen. Use herbal tea if you must. Herbal tea is really hardcore, so that's like the last option. Stop using pharmaceuticals. I mean, I suppose when it comes to a lot of stuff with your body, I guess it can correlate with, you know, stress and being tense or whatever, but, you know, the, uh, that's, uh, this, this, pro this is probably not the takeaway, fam. Use herbal tea if you must. If you must drown yourself because of the pain. <laughs> just pour a bathtub of tea and just like, ah, I'm done with this bullshit. Just remembering the time a patient's boyfriend came in with her, concerned about a lump he found down there, which turned out to be the C-L-I-T-O-I-R-S. At least he found it! That handbag in one of those first posts would have been completely safe if he was a raging uh, kleptomaniac. Ask me your biggest dilemma. A girl said to me that she was a virgin, but she got her period. She's a freaking liar! Oh dear god, well, you breaking up with her surely made her miss a bullet. That's amazing. You did her a favor. Congrats. Perfecte gerushingringsgidrungrung bringt ihnen pjoren musik genus, or something like that. But it's such a pure or in musik genus that it grows fourth ear. Wow, isn't that just amazing? Women have four ears. That's why they enjoy talking to each other so much. Hashtag alpha male takes. Tune in next week for more female facts with a click. So here we have tampax and tampax left and right.
In a brief lapse of judgment, I asked what the difference between left and right tampons were. I am well aware of how tampon sizes work, but when I see them labeled like this, my brain still immediately tries to process this as left and right every single time. Uh, large and really large? It's light and regular. I mean, yeah, most things you see L and R on are left and right. That's so confusing. <laughs> when your brain is leaking out, you plug it up. Come on, fridge here. So here we just have a couple of innocent signs outside some bathroom, and oh, look at that, another impossible standard for female bodies and legs. Disgusting. Oh, Tim, 26, he is a man looking for a vessel. Vessel. We're looking for a vessel for our future offspring. Not, not child, vessel for offspring, okay. A nice woman who is committed to fostering the next generation. Cleverness is heritable from the mother, therefore a smart vessel is a must. Well, gee, thank God cleverness comes from the mother, am I right? Yahoo! The transgender is like six feet tall and completely towers over the normal woman. What the frick has MMA become? No one tell them, but it's actually the other way around. Shh, 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 don't want to upset their brain nickels. Today, I had to explain to a grown man, age 52, that women do not have a continuous supply of the milks. He thought it was something that happened in puberty, that women get a period and milk at the same time. He thought that, but he's 52. I mean, maybe he didn't have a family, I don't know, but like at some point you must have realized that, you know, the mother of your kids continuously does the booba feeding when they're a baby, not just once per month. Babies go three weeks without feeding, that's, that's just how it is. This is me versus her! Both of you please see a gynecologist! It's like when you go to the dentist and just put some mayo behind your teeth and the dentist is like, um, a snack. How nice. I love this job. But it's glitter and it's like, poof! Oh my god, you made my day, dear customer. Wow. Aristotle maintained that women have fewer teeth than men. Although he was twice married, it never occurred to him to verify his statement by examining his wife's mouth, Bertrand Russell. <laughs> My boss says that men have fewer ribs than women because God took Adam's ribs to make Eve. He's missing a finger himself from childhood injury, but it doesn't equate to him why his children all have ten fingers if you do his brand of math. I had to explain to my dad that women have the same amount of ribs. He's not religious, but he thought that the Bible was right on that one. <laughs> had to get a chest x-ray in an emergency once. See, dad, I have the same amount of ribs as you. Hashtag science. That's amazing. Like, you, you, by losing a body part or something, your DNA just magically changes. Man, that would be sweet, isn't it? Better me! Download the app today. Here's a gluten belly, no candy, cookies, ice cream, alcohol belly, aka pregnancy, no syrups, cake, and stressed out belly, hormonal belly, mommy belly. We draw a bunch of tummies on a female, and that's, that's good. Also, cis women have natural testosterone. Well, yeah, because they're men. Oh, gee, this is a turn of events I did not expect. What a twist. Being a girl isn't easy. One mistake while shaving and boom, CLIT gone. Get a man to do it. They will miss it. <laughs> Can someone please enlighten me to what other purpose booba serve other than being used as a gentleman's pleasure? Are, are you, uh... uh no. Boyfriend does not approve tampons. That's an intriguing title. Let's dig into it together, shall we? So I have been with my boyfriend five years and we have a baby together. When I started my period, I usually wear pads. This day, I was at work, ran out of pads and didn't realize. So all they had at work were tampons. So I decided to try it out. He noticed I wasn't wearing a pad and asked me if my period went away. I explained to him that I was wearing a tampon. He gives me this talk about how wearing a tampon is like having naughties. Blah, 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 blah. And says that a tampon shouldn't be going up there that if a Jew they need to stay tight and the tampons were like having a pee pee up there. He told me it's the last time I wear one. I, I was just out of words when he said this. <laughs> oh, but for God's sake. Oh, my. I, I, uh, no, please. You're an adult. This is not even like a stupid teenager that spent too much time on some incel forum. This is this is a legit adult that has a kid. For God's sake. Women can always use aspirin as a form of birth control. Holding aspirin between the knees prevent pregnancy. <laughs> What are you, are you just sitting on a chair holding like a little pill between your knees like oh oh oh, oh baby gone the babouche alternatively they can just spend a few minutes with you better than the best contraceptive in the world oh yeah maybe it's a male i did i did like the karen voice for it okay women can always use aspirin as format there we go nailed it booyah oh look at this doll another unrealistic expectation for women's bodies they should be snakes this summer disgusting 
Ah! Uh. Women's waist trainer vest, slim corset, neoprene, sauna, tank top, zipper waist, lost body shaper shirt. Look at this, and it even changes your your skin color. You wanna you wanna get really tan? Just wear this. It's totally a legit tan. If you're gonna sell this, at least Photoshop it right. <laughs> but also, I love these like spam things. I've seen this with the off-brand mangoes too. Like when people steal products or these like cheap knockoffs that they just mass produce in China. It's always just the title is never you know the name of the product. It's just like 30 buzzwords or keywords and hashtags. Like, Women waist trainer vase slim corset neoprene shirt do booba me women body workout fitness booga shamach. Me when my father said to me to keep my legs closed while having the time of the month to keep the pressure stream straight. Mm, keep the pressure stream gay. Look, we've all seen a lot of these men riding women segments, which are just awful, but I am absolutely losing my poo at this. When she stopped crying, Madeline composed herself before the mirror. Her skin looked blotchy. Her boobas, of which she was normally proud, had withdrawn into themselves, as if depressed. Madeline knew that this self-appraisal may not be accurate. It's just, I am sad today. That's how it works. That's how balls on men work, too. Just like... Oh uh, no, I must be sad, oh uh, no. If a trans woman receives a blood transfusion from a woman who has ever been prego, it could be possibly kill them. A Tiwi needing a blood transfusion needs male blood. What on earth are you on about? Yeah, it's like the people with like, I want blood at unvaccinated and say yahoo. Anyway, Lottie's losses and losses. I do hope you learned something today because I sure did not. And I <laughs> I hope I hope to see you in the next video, you beautiful bean. Have an amazing rest of your day because you really do deserve it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Mwah.